Tiara is definitely a work, a work in progress. Um, you know, she is a sister, she is a friend, she's a socialite. She is, she's all the things that a queen is. She's all the things that she aspires to be. It's just trying to figure out how exactly do I get there without trying to uh, copy someone else's path or try to do what someone else did and trying to create my own way and my own idea, my own definition of success. That's who she is. Um, open to any and every opportunity that comes our way, especially challenges. Um, challenges are also opportunities, area areas of opportunities to keep to keep myself on my toes. Um, learning to love herself more, learning to be who she is destined to be. It's just about getting there and finding that path of understanding who I am and being comfortable with it. That's the one thing that I know a lot of women have struggles with is being comfortable with who they are, you know, instead of conforming. I don't want to conform. I just have to figure out exactly how do I do what I'm supposed to do as far as being who I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Queendom building to me is definitely your story. Um, it really, what when I wrote the letter, it really, it was a, it was a testimonial time for me. It was, it was a, it was a time for me to really like reflect on what I, where I've been and where I'm going and who I am and where I'm at right now. Queendom building is about being open and being okay with all the things that have been thrown at you, all the bricks that are thrown and literally like paving a way, you know, building a kingdom for your, a queendom for yourself. Um, being comfortable with the mistakes that you made, owning up to a lot of things, being accountable, you know, building yourself up into the highest caliber of being of self-love and I know that may take a lot of time I know that may sound you know impossible you know finding God you know all those things and being comfortable with being alone and there's so many things that helps you build your queendom it's about what really what are the things that you need to focus on the most I think uh, the biggest thing that helps you build your queendom is letting go of the, the things that hinder you internally I think that's the I think when you start to heal internally, your mind frame starts to change, you start to change, your everything around you starts to change. And um that's the most important thing, knowing that you have a second chance to make the next day better. Yeah. Um, as far as who, like I said, all the queens that raised me and all the mentors that I have, but most importantly what were the were the no-nos that I had in my life, the mistakes. The mistakes are something that I used to be so ashamed about. I used to really just hinder my growth. I used to really be upset with the fact I did those things to myself. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did that. Why did I let this happen? Look where I'm at now. It's my fault and this and that. And when I start to really just realize and be accountable for it and be like, you know what, I did it. Let's move forward. And once I began to move forward and once I began to just be okay with the fact of my past, I think that's what really helped me open up into being open to the to the future. You know, I think I was so stuck on the past and I was so busy trying to right my wrongs. When you make a wrong, you make a wrong. But you have another day to make it better. And once I started changing my focus and once I started accepting the fact that I did mess up and that I wasn't being, you know, how I was raised, you know, I, I forgot about my values, I forgot about my morals because of internal issues that I did not, you know, I didn't confront. And when I start to confront those things and when I start to say, you know what, let's get rid of these daddy issues, let's get rid of looking for someone to else to love you, let's get rid of trying to be validated by other people, let's get rid of trying to be like this person or, oh, I need to be like that person or this is what success looks like. Success looks like what you want it to look like what you feel like putting yourself in. And I think when I got comfortable with knowing that I'm not like everybody else and I'm one of a kind, that's what helped me. That was, that was the pivotal moment of my queendom building. That is a very good question. Um, if I had the opportunity to tell young girls, even grown women, <laughs> um, how to start their queendom building, is that the question? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so if I had to tell them how to start their queendom building, um, finding God. I think that is the most important thing that we tend to forget. Like, you know, I'm the type of person that does not want to get so consumed by the by the lifestyle. 
I don't want to get consumed by the distraction in the world. And distractions in the world are definitely, you know, social media, friends, you know, uh, trends, you know, um, fads, you know, so many things that can really distract us from what's most important. It, it distracts us from growing. It distracts us from wanting more. It distracts us from it from from being great. And sometimes people will never know what being great is unless they really just let the things that they think make them go. Um, that's one thing I would definitely tell them. And in the process of letting those things go, being comfortable with being alone, being comfortable with just talking to God. You want to put your you want to put your business and your feelings out on social media. You want to look for you want to call that one dude and be like, oh my God, love on me. You want to do this. You want to do that. You want to look to all these things or all these distractions, all these temporary fixes that are temporary fixes the most important thing that we need to really focus on is finding that love in God when you find the love in God God will get you and direct you to every single place that you were supposed to be not want to be but supposed to be and sometimes you know people be like well I don't like where I'm at right now in my life that's okay but when you are in love with God and when you know that the love and the, and the connection and the relationship that you have with God you will be so content with being where you are even if it's in a a small apartment and it's not as big as you want to be or even it's just making minimum wage even if it's not having all the nice clothes but at least you have clothes you know you will enjoy the things in life they may be small but those are the things that you need not what you want what you need and I think that's the biggest thing um, being okay with knowing what you need instead of what you want because what you need is going to get you further than what you want